Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. This is definitely going to be an interesting one because I'm finally telling you guys like what's happening and um, you probably can already tell by the title but I'm going to be explaining in depth about like the new situation I guess but first I'm going to brunch with my friends. I'm pretty sure we're going to Boulden Creek Cafe um, and if so I've been there before. I just haven't really eaten like brunch there and my friend said that their cornbread was so good and I was like love cornbread i'm really excited for that um the outfit we have going on today is from outdoor voices i love this little collared top and then we have a little skirt to match it then today we are probably going to go to canyon lake which is an hour and 10 minutes away from here so like usually we go to just like lake travis if we want like really blue water and like kind of like a beach access we go to bob Wentz park but I've been seeing so many TikToks of like this really blue clear water in Canyon Lake. So we're going to go check it out today. Um, hopefully brunch doesn't take too long because we're going to plan to leave around like one-ish. Hopefully we can get out the door by then because it's an hour drive. So it puts us there at two and then I'm pretty sure the park closes at seven. So I feel like that's like more time than we even need to like go swimming over there. So I can't wait to take you guys along through the day. Um, and I'll definitely talk about the situation after brunch. Here with Shireen and we are gonna go into Bolden Creek Cafe. And no, I haven't been here. I guess there's like a billion different Bolden Creek thingies around here, um, but it's on South First. Right? Yes, South First. so good. Highly Yay. recommend the blueberry cornbread. I think that's, I still dream about it. It's when so, so when you said that, like I was like craving it. I was like, oh yeah, Saturday, I'm gonna get it like last Saturday. Cause I thought we were doing this last Saturday. Oh, yeah. So I like texted them. On on Friday, right, or something? No, sa Saturday morning at oh. 8 a.m. Like, who like, wakes up at I'm 8 a.m. ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the cornbread, and they're like, it's next Saturday. I was like, okay, gotta wait a week. So <laughs> we're here now, though. I'm excited. I always want to say hi. hi. Back with Nadine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and they just met. My channel now. Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> So back home from Golden Creek Cafe and that blueberry cornbread was everything. I think I'm gonna try to make it <laughs> and recreate it because it was so good. Yeah. Um, but thought we would sit down and explain the situation. So next weekend I'm going to pack my bag or rag. Bag. A bag. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because you don't really have that much. It's not gonna be that long. But I'm gonna be back in Georgia until September. September. And then come back and visit. Oh my god. And then go back until October. And then come back and visit? Or me visit you? And then she'll come back in November. Oh yeah. And December. Okay. And then <laughs> January. And then February. I'll come back to Austin. <laughs> okay. And then I'll have enough money in order to buy a house. <laughs> yeah. So I need to save some money up. But yeah. She's pretty pricey. If you don't if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Yeah, and houses here are really freaking pricey too. Yeah. Um, so basically, moral of the story, he's moving home for six months or a little bit longer. Is it six months? Sophie. Uh, she's mad. Sophie, I know. She's mad because we'll get into the Sophie situation next. What's the situation? So I'm keeping her. We're going to do the thing where we like put her down the middle and call her and see what she wants to do. No. Um, but anyways, yeah, so he's moving home until next moving, February. Going. You're literally moving home for six months. You're taking him back because you're a man and you don't mean much, which it's insane. Like I was literally thinking like, okay, he's like, are you really leaving Friday? Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm getting sad right now. What? See, no, Brian, <laughs> you're so mean. Anyways. She's like, I can't wait for you to leave. Like yesterday. <laughs> because okay, so like I'm at a point where like I'm I've accepted it. I was really scared to live alone. And I still am really scared to live alone, but I think it's gonna be good for me because I've never done it before. Um, but like obviously he's 
we like are together 24 seven because we both work from home, which is a good thing and a bad thing, mostly a bad thing because I think, you know, I might be more productive if he's not here. I need more space too. This is like my couch, this is my office right here, this couch. Yeah, we have a two bedroom apartment, but like it's not that big. <laughs> Sometimes you use my office for calls and stuff, Yeah. which isn't a big deal because like I can do my work whenever. But anyways, so that's that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be like different living oh. alone and all that stuff. But I'm keeping Sophie because I won't have anyone and I need someone. And Sophie's going to be my someone. Right, Sophie? Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Sophie's very Don't sad. She doesn't even know what happened or what is gonna happen. I am glad that you're leaving like during fall though because, no, during fall not like winter or summer because. Winter sucks in Austin. Nothing to do here in winter. Yeah, but you're gonna come back during winter. Uh, well, anyways, basically what I'm trying to say is that. I'm gonna buy a house. Wait, when? In winter? I think so. Well, our lease is like till next November. So I'm not really in a big no, rush August. anyways. What? It's till next August, I think. No, I think it's November because we did this longer lease. You did? Yes. I don't think so. Because they bamboozled me. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm glad that he's going this time out of all the time because in September, I want to come home for Labor Day, which is like, what, three weeks after you're gone. And then later that September, he's going to come back here because his friend wants to visit Austin and then in October I'm probably gonna go home because I want to see Georgia in fall and then November is my birthday and Thanksgiving and then December is Christmas so I feel like I'll be home a lot which like I kind of don't want to go home because I don't want it to like mess up my routine you know because I feel like if I travel like I get so thrown off this will just really expedite the house buying process because I feel like well we hope Kind of hope the market crashes and maybe like when he comes back like it will be a really good time to like start looking you know i also have more money for down payment so yeah and yeah like he said i'm not a cheap girl like <laughs> and also these houses are like so expensive for like the shittiest kind of house to be honest like in my company's in atlanta so we'll probably close a few more deals if you guys are new to my channel we actually did long distance in college for four whole years. He went to UGA, I went to UCF. It's not like that far apart. It's like an eight, eight hour drive, but we didn't, we never drove to each other. We flew like spirit and stuff. But that's another thing like, well, yeah, you did fly a lot to me, but I flew a lot to you. To your home, I had to pick you up at the airport. <laughs> well, that's your problem that your freaking college didn't have an airport. It does have an airport. Okay, you want me to spend a thousand dollars to go to Athens, Georgia? No, thank you. The one thing I'll say that made like long distance really easy for me was that I was in a sorority and I was like surrounded by girls all the time. And like, I was very distracted with like how involved I was in college and internships and all that. And I don't think I have that here. Like I don't, I don't know what's gonna keep me like that busy to be like super distracted. Good job. I mean like, yeah, my job, but <laughs> I don't wanna become a workaholic cause I feel like I already am. But I, I see myself working even more, which might be good or bad, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. We've done it before, so we can do it again, especially for like only six months. But it's like two weeks in between seeing you every time. Like <laughs> you're acting like I'm like dying. <laughs> well, you're. It's gonna be different because we've been literally spending like, tw like twenty four seven ever since COVID. With each other, like that's. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the lowdown. That is the sad news for this week. That's the good news? I heard you saying that was good news. Oh yeah, you don't know the good news? We're in Canyon Lake right now? Yeah, we're going to Canyon Lake. No, the good news you'll find out in the next vlog. And I'm so excited. Is there something in my teeth? Yeah, what's your lowest for you? Nice. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, we're gonna get our stuff together and go to Can Lake. I'm excited to swim, even though I like just wash my hair. This is what they don't tell you about bleaching your hair and then dyeing it back black. Like seriously, it fades so fast and you have to like freaking tone it. it feels like every week. 
No, I'm not chopping it. Finally, it's getting long. Okay, anyways, we're gonna pack our bags and drive over to Canyon Lake. We made it. Ryan, what is that? What? You did it in the last vlog and I didn't notice until I was editing. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck did he just do? You're on Instagram Reels, that's a TikTok thing. What? You don't even have TikTok, so why do you know all that? I'm on Instagram Reels. I'm on the Facebook. <laughs> It is really blue, huh? I mean, my sunglasses make it look like that, I don't know. It actually is. Oh, yeah, snorkels, that's so fun. You go further down or no? No, I feel like this is perfect. Very rocky, though. Huh? I guess we'll have to, like, literally jump in. Cause, or we'll have to, like, slide down. Ryan and I are just trying to thrive here because we brought our goggles in. I actually feel like we haven't used them since I bought them. Because I think I bought them for when we went to Mexico. And I feel like I bought them for Mexico. Anyways, we haven't used them since I bought them, which was like so long ago. But we just went diving and we thought there wasn't gonna be like that much because at first we, because I was like, oh my God, there's like a fish or like two fish. And he was like, I don't see anything. And then he saw it and then we went deeper and there were like a whole school of fish. And these fish are like actually kind of pretty, like fish you would see snorkeling and stuff. So that was kind of fun. And Ryan loved, loved to dive, didn't you? Good morning, happy Sunday. I feel like this weekend is already going by way freaking too fast. And it's kind of sad because it's like, Literally my last weekend with Ryan, living with him until six months. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic. I know I'm gonna see him like pretty often, but you know, like living with someone is very different than just him being in Georgia and me visiting and him visiting. So it's very sad, but this is my outfit for today. I don't know if it's like too much. Like I don't feel like totally confident just cause I feel like this hat, like I have so many cute hats from Gigi Pip, Lack of Color and how cute are these little seashells but like I never really have like places to wear them to unless I'm going to the beach which whenever I go to the beach I'll just take one hat because it's like annoying to carry around but I thought with this outfit I feel like it kind of looks cute this top is part of a matching set from free people that literally I wear all the freaking time I really want to like look into getting some more free people pieces because I wear them so much and the quality is like honestly so good. And then here are my Madewell shorts that I recently bought. I also love how these just like fit the A-line style for shorts. Cannot be beat in my opinion. And then we have these Dolce Vita canvas sandals. I think they're called the Corinne sandals. So yeah, I'm not really sure about this hat though. I wish I could like get your like advice in real time, but unfortunately I can't. So maybe we'll go with it. We're going to Chi Austin or like Chi Austin. I'm pretty sure it's Chi, but every time I say Chi, I don't think anyone knows what I'm talking about. So I just say Chi Austin, um, but it's a dim sum place. And on Sundays, they do like dim sum brunch. We didn't make a reservation, but I'm hoping we can get in if we go right at 1030. So we need to leave in like literally 10 minutes to get there on time. But I have a gift card because when I worked at my corporate job, they gave me a gift card for my birthday, which was in November. And I've literally thought every single Sunday, oh, we should go to Key, we should go to Key, we should go to Key. So this Sunday, we're making it happen. I also took out Sophie this morning and it's like so overcast that it's like 80 something degrees, which is so nice. I'm like, okay, let's do everything outside today and just enjoy the weather while we can.
I did some last minute edits for the week in my life that is going up as soon as it freaking exports it just takes so long because like the week in my life vlogs are like 30 to an hour long i think this one's like right under an hour but i hope you guys are liking the long vlogs and then i kind of had like an urge to film some tiktoks so i wanted to unbox some amazon stuff and try them on for you guys i just got the cutest workout set that i'm so excited to try on i saw this on tiktok so it's like a one shoulder little two piece set and then I also want to show you guys these shoes. I'm shook. They're on Amazon and they did take a while to ship. Um, sometimes that could change, but I am so excited to like wear these out on Rainy Street or just going out because I feel like they'll be pretty comfortable and I love like a little like heel, you know? I just don't like the ones that obviously I can't walk in at the end of the night but I'll try on that two-piece set and after that I want to do like kind of like a Sunday reset cleaning kind of thing I have a steam mop that I bought on prime day that I literally have not opened yet because I wanted to vlog it for you guys so I'm gonna do that today here's the two-piece I'm obsessed with the way it fits me and like the quality is like insanely good like honestly Amazon especially athletic wear is so good and don't get me wrong, I love buying from like Aloe and Lululemon, but sometimes when you find such a good deal on a set for such good quality too, you're like, it's a no-brainer. I feel like all my Amazon workout sets never disappoint me. I got the color brown, but I'm pretty sure they also had like a green and a lavender purple color, which was so pretty. So honestly, if I wear this a lot, I'm going to be purchasing some more colors. Here's the next thing I got from Amazon. It's like this corset shaped top. I honestly did think it was going to be a little bit thicker of a material since it said it was going to be like a corset, but it's not. It's just kind of like a regular tank top. I still do really like the fit. Like I feel like the fit is very flattering with some jean shorts or even some jeans with some heels. Um, and then I'm actually wearing a regular bra. Well, like a cami kind of bra. And it was like really easy to hide the straps, so... Very cute. Here's what the shoes look like on. So freaking cute. I just feel like I can't do like regular heels anymore because I don't know. I'm just like not cut out for that. And then also I did want to show you guys my earrings really quick again because I think I showed you guys in one other vlog, but I'm still loving them so much. They're also from Amazon. This pair is under a hundred and they're like really cute and chunky. I'm really realizing how important it is to have greasy hair when you do these like slick back buns. Or like you just have to have product in them but my hair is clean so i don't really want to put product in it but it is freezing in my apartment just posted my sunday vlog posted two tiktoks i feel like my brain's fried because i was staring at my freaking computer and phone for so long but now it's time to sunday reset and open up the steam mop i'm so excited about this i'm very intrigued by it <laughs> like i said it was a deal on prime day so i was like you know what i feel like like the apartment could just feel a little bit cleaner sometimes than it does. So I made the robot vacuum do its thing before I did this. So the floors are all vacuumed and now it is time to get them like extra, extra clean. Okay. Honestly, I cannot wait to buy a house one day just so I can have like space to put all this shit because I feel like I always want to like buy this stuff and I don't really have much space for it and I don't know why I still keep buying it like I don't have room but I guess I just make do <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to add water but I do have this like wood floor um, thing that I kind of want to add into it just to make sure it's like super clean Okay, we'll leave a little room for the solution. Okay. okay. So I couldn't figure it out at first. Like it wasn't like really steaming, but it says to pump the handle. So you actually have to like, wait, like now you can hear it and you can like see the steam coming out. How cool. I'm actually terrified to see what the pad looks like after I do the whole living room. true 
it was going to be worse. Um, let's see. Oh, I do still have like a lot of water. So I might actually do the bathrooms, but I have to vacuum the bathrooms first. So I'm going to do that. I'm so hungry. Ryan is still playing golf. Apparently he said that it felt like 70 degrees outside. I looked at the weather and it was like 90 degrees, which honestly this morning it did feel really good. So I think I need to take out Sophie so I can enjoy the weather too. Taking Sophie for a little walk and I see this freaking sunset. The floors are all clean. I even did the bathrooms and now there's still so much water in there. I'm just like, what else can I like steam mop? So I'm like trying, honestly, maybe like the dressers. I feel like that could be something to steam up. Anyways, I also did the green little Bissell thing for the carpets because it was just looking really discolored and just really dirty. So I was just like, might as well just get it all done tonight. And then I put the bath mats in both bathrooms and the washer. So that's what's in the dryer right now. But I wanted to end the vlog here because I am pooped and I just want to get in my cozies and watch some YouTube. Hopefully my favorite YouTubers have posted today. There's nothing I love more than watching YouTube on Sundays. I don't know why. I just I just feel like Sundays are the best days to watch YouTube. Let me know like what's your favorite day to watch YouTube. Of course my content is gonna be changing a little bit because I feel like not that this is a couple's channel and Ryan's not in every single vlog but I definitely feel like he's in a lot of them and it's just gonna be sad to not have him around like 24 7 but maybe this is gonna be good for me because sometimes I do think like oh am I being a little bit dependent on Ryan and I've never really lived alone, so I'm kind of curious to see how I'm gonna do with that. I'm honestly kind of just ready to experience it because I've kind of known for a while now and I definitely was really freaking sad about it and a little mad just because, I don't know, it's kind of like, we already did the long distance, like why do we have to do it again? It's kind of like that feeling, um, but I really do think it'll be good for me and i know i'll be vlogging a lot more and just being on social media a lot more because i feel like whenever i am alone this is horrible and i do feel like i need to like learn to be okay alone because i'm not like at all um but basically i just like am always like consuming podcasts or youtube videos like always consuming content and i also like to make content when i'm alone so that could be good or bad <laughs> I don't want to be a workaholic, but I feel like that might be in my future. In the last vlog, I told you guys that there's bad news and good news. So the bad news was today. The good news is going to be tomorrow or the next day. Um, so I'm really, really freaking excited for that because it's like a big change for me personally. It's something I've been kind of insecure about and I'm finally getting it done. Um, so yeah. I'm just so excited about that and I'm definitely gonna take you through like the whole process. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, go ahead and do so. Also TikTok is the same handle. I swear I think I post on TikTok more than I do on Instagram nowadays. Um, but I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.